One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least seven here, that's a cow. And three sort of youngsters there with another cow. Isn't that nice? That's not a sighting we see every day, you know. It's quite unusual, and even Veeam is uh, he's not objecting strongly, which is what he normally does when we see giraffe. Hmm. Very nice. And in the background, perhaps you can hear the dulcet tones of the arrow-marked babbler and also the staff of Arethusa. I know I've said this to you before a few times, but the I always love this time of the day in these camps because everyone is relaxed and they're waiting for the evening meal. Everything's set up and, you know, clean and pristine. And then everyone has this little bit of time to relax as the sun goes down. And it's such a... I know it's it's a it's an experience guests very seldom get because they're always out in game drive. But if you live out here, it's a very special time in the actual camps. They're quiet and very peaceful places, especially if you happen to have a large water body in front of your camp and there'll be eight giraffes and a hippo and a number of fish eagles there. Not to forget the guinea fowl. They're eating zizifus there, a buffalo thorn, very thorny, but very good eating. And that's actually good eating for humans too. Often asked if you could survive out here without food. Well, if you were able to survive without food, zizifus, or at least not without food, without bought food, if you were able to survive out here, the zizifus would be a very important source of forage for you. Imagine quite a nice impala steak wrapped in zizifus leaves. What do you think, Vim? Some ostrich egg on the side. With some ostrich egg on the side, yes. Now, Mary Ellen, you make a very, very good point. Of course, landed on our shores today and arrived in our bushveld. The, what did you call him earlier? The Duke of Sydney. Uh, that's right, Vim called him the Duke of Sydney. Uh, Hayden Turner has arrived, and Mary Ellen, you say you may, maybe these giraffes have arrived to welcome him. Well, I can't think of any other reason why they'd have come around here. They've been very scarce of late, so maybe indeed they have arrived in order that they might greet the Duke of Sydney. <laughs>